How to add a timeline for your Google Sites. Hey everyone, welcome. We hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how easy it is to add a timeline to Google Sites. Now, just go ahead and open up your Google Site that you want to add the timeline to. And no, Google Sites does not actually offer the option to create a timeline. Instead, we will create it in a different website and then just embed it to our Google Sites. And this way we can just, you know, work our way around it. It is actually very easy and simple to do. So just follow me and we will talk about it. So the first step after you open up your Google Sites, obviously, and make sure you have space for it. We're just going to remove this one. We don't need it anymore. You just want to open up a new browser tab and just search for commonninja.com. Now, CommonNinja.com is a platform that offers a lot of widgets for our sites. So there are going to be many different widgets that are going to help us with our uh, sites, including but not limited to timeline. Uh, and the pricing point for it is pretty much you can get started for free. There's going to be one free instance for each widget. So, for example, for timeline, you can only create one for free. Uh, and it's going to be for 300 monthly page views. If it's more, then you will need to upgrade. And, you know, it's a reasonable price for what they actually offer you. So just go in and take a look here and see which one is going to suit you best. For me, I'm just going to, you know, use the free one and I'll just click on sign up. And then for me, I'm just going to continue with my Google account and we can just go ahead and move on and add our timeline. Okay, great. So now I just signed up and they did ask me a few questions. I answered them and we just, you know, move on to this page. So in here you will have a a lot of widgets, like I said, and we want uh, to only have the timeline. So just go to the search bar and search for timeline. Uh, I mean, actually, we need to go to explore, explore a catalog. And then from here, we want to actually search for the timeline. Sorry. Uh, the other one was, you know, the actual ones that you have installed. So this is why it didn't work. So anyway, just click on widget catalog and then just search for a timeline and you will find this one right here. Click on create a timeline. Now in here, it's going to be pretty much you setting up your timeline to your liking. So this is going to be completely um, up to you on how you want it to look like when it comes to colors, when it comes to customization options on all of these things, I will show you just, you know, subtly how to do, you know, many, many things, but, uh, it's completely up to you how you actually want to go about it. So the initial setup, for example, the graduation day, which is the default, uh, you know, you have graduation, graduation day, and so on to adjust it. You basically want to click on the graduation section. Uh, and you can, you know, actually see all the sections that are available and you can see them over here and we can also add more items. But if you want to edit them, you can feel free to just click on it and you will have more stuff here. For example, the title, we can just make it test. And then we have more options here, for example, the subtitle, which is this one, you can feel free to change it to your liking. And also for the image, you can just go and click on it and, you know, upload your own file from here and use it as the image and again you will have more things to set up from here so the card title on the right side and also the card description from the right side as well and for example the, the title color you can actually change it and so on and you have more options here on the left panel you, you can actually change the layout to it uh, you can completely change the layout for it and so on and you can also change the uh, colors for it. If you want to be more specific, you can actually change it from here. So, you know, you know, adjusting things aside, we can just go ahead and click on save changes on the top right. And we can just go ahead and continue with a new project. Uh, and I'm just going to name the project test and click on save changes. And now this should be saved uh, for us. And we can now use it basically on our site. And to do so, it's very simple. Just click on this icon right here, which is the HTML. Click on Add to Site, and you basically want to copy this. So just click on Copy. And once it is copied, we're pretty much done. We can just go and exit out of here and go to our Google Sites. Click on Insert, Embed, and then Embed Code, and paste it right over here. Click on Next. And click on Insert one more time, and we should have our timeline like so obviously you can feel free to make it as big or as small as you want it to be 
just keep dragging down until you find the ending for it and you will have the full thing for it so yeah this is all for this video hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching